Dressing up is a very big problem for you. That's not because you don't have anything to wear, because you have a wardrobe full of clothes, but yet you find it very, very difficult to like pair outfits together and feel very good and feel very comfortable. Why should be like Hi Queens, welcome back to this video. I hope you're not doing so well. Thank you so very much guys for tuning in. I so much appreciate you all. Like always, thank you so much. You guys are so blessed. Nice. You can see from today's title, we are going to be talking about something that I think is kind of very common amongst a lot of us because I've been there. In fact, I'm still kind of trying to get myself out of this mess. But it's not something that you can do just like just one day. So it's a very gradual process. But why you find it very difficult to dress up because you don't have nothing to wear but that is not the case you have a wardrobe full of clothes but yet you don't have nothing to wear okay the thing is when you don't appreciate something it's obvious that you're going to care less about that particular thing when you don't love what you have you don't love the kind of clothes that is in your wardrobe you're going to find it very difficult to like pair outfit together and look good and fit chic. That is because sometimes it can be caused by maybe you're into fast fashion or maybe you get to like copy other people's style. You don't really know what to work for you. You just get to see what you love out there. You just get to see what people are rocking out there and you don't even care to think if it's going to go so well with your style or if it fits you. All you do is see you buy and at the end of it all, you find it very difficult to like people what you already have. You find it very difficult to like suit you very well the way you want it to be or the way you saw it maybe with the model out there. It's a very big problem because I think when you don't have your own personal style, you don't really know what's work for you. It's all about what you see there. It's all about the trends. It's, what, it's all about what people are rocking that you just go for. You don't get to know if it's going to suit you, if it's going to work with your wardrobe and your kind of lifestyle. You just purchase this item. At the end of the day, you find your wardrobe stuck with so much clothes but yet nothing to wear. If you are the type that do follow trend, trend is good once in a while, okay. If it's a trend that suits my style, okay. I always still want to be very careful, want to be very sure that I love what I'm purchasing so that I don't get carried away because the trend is my style. I still want to make it work with other things that I have in my wardrobe. So even if you want to bring something trend to your item, make sure it is something that is going to be very easy for you to incorporate what you really have, for you to be able to get much more out of it. Don't just go for this item because they are trendy because you end up with so much clothes and nothing to waste when you go for poor quality items. Because trust me, when we talk about fast fashion, they are cute but they are kind of, that's why they call fast fashion because they don't last the test of time. So when you go for items that has bad quality, very poor, when you go for items that has poor quality, at the end of it all, you find yourself keep bringing items into your wardrobe after one wash, especially one, two wash, they just like fade away, they just like start having bubbles. So poor quality items sometimes can be a struggle for us in our wardrobe because sometimes we have some kind of not really special because we just want to look good, look very good. When you bring out some items from your wardrobe because you don't have to have a lot of items, you have a lot of clothes in there. When you just bring them out, you get to see that the quality, the way it looks or it feels, you don't just you, you know that it's not right the quality is something that you don't really love really so i would say when you go for items that has too bad quality sometimes can just make you find yourself in that situation whereby you have lots of clothes but when you want to like dress up properly you find it so difficult to dress up properly because you know that you have so much but at the same time they want nothing so that is why most most times it is always wise for you to like invest in one or two pieces or if you want to go for more quality over quantity as well i think that would just be a very great idea because as for me now i'm kind of thinking towards that direction but it's not something that you can do just one day two days it takes a lot of time it's something kind of gradual process that's where i'm kind of trying to take my water to you know get it to like once in a while if I want to buy, I gotta save my money and get to go for something with nice quality, or I can go for my second hand store. But I'm kind of I've been watching a lot of a lot of slow fashion videos these days. I'm kind of really really reflecting. This is just the plain truth. I'm kind of really really reflecting on how I shop and where I shop and the kind of quality I bring into my wardrobe. Because most times, trust me, when you have quantity over quality, you find it so difficult to like dress up and shape because you know that what you have is nothing. You just can't find the perfect outfit to wear. Nothing fits very well. Nothing inside you. You know, you just feel that you don't have nothing in your body, but you have so much, yet nothing to wear. Okay, another thing that I want to talk about is that if you are the type that um, 
it's holding you close that kind of excites you going for shopping excites you a lot getting to like put on an outfit knowing that it's new that is what gives you joy it just makes you feel happy it is good for you to go for what makes you feel good and what makes you feel happy but trust me i don't think it's the best because when you always go for something new you still can't get your personal style you still can't feel comfortable because it's all about i need new clothes for me to be able to attend that event it's all about i need new pair of shoes for me to be able to you just need something new only new clothes that excite you i think it's something that you really want to work on because you can't just like continue shopping every time at the end of the day when you want to go out you still find it very difficult for you to like put an outfit together if you follow every single trend you just gonna find it very difficult for you to be able to put up it together. You just gonna find it very difficult for you to look good in anything that you put on because number one, this item are not trendy because it's only trendy item and new item that excites you. So when the item is no more trendy, you just find it kind of very weird, you know, putting them all because you just feel that they are not on trend anymore. They don't suit you anymore, or they don't really fit your body type. You just get to notice after the trend, so you need something new. If you follow a trend of only new items that kind of excite you, that kind of make you feel that okay, I have something to wear because it's something different from what I already have. So I think this is gonna be something that you want to work on. I'm gonna come up with another video regarding of in this issue how to like shop your clothes. For that is what this channel focuses on: how to get multiple wear out of what you already have, how to shop your clothes, like restart one piece over and over again. So I believe this channel will kind of help you guide you in that process if you only have that money very difficult to like you know pair what you already have together or maybe you have to you know go for something for you to feel okay yes i'm dressed up now i feel so good now so this time we help and guide you in that aspect for you to like value more what you have because the truth is when you value what you have care for what you have it's because you love those items it's because you love how they look on you it's because you feel comfortable they bring you joy that is why you care when you don't see what you have as if they are part of you you are going to care less, you won't care. You have a lot of clothes in there, but you still find it very difficult to dress up because you have the clothes there, but at the same time, you don't have nothing. I always, you know, go for other people's style, what suits other people. A lot of YouTube video. I've mentioned this before, one of my friends, I don't know which is going to be out for You watch a lot of YouTube videos, it's only whole videos that they slide to because they get to like give you the idea of what's new in the store. You get to see how it fits this, the fits me, maybe like they are advertising it, but you just place an order and you get this item. You don't even take time to like go through your wardrobe to get to see what you already have, to get to see how you can come up with what you already have, but at the same time, looking very chic. All you want to do is that you just need that particular uh, dress. I just need that particular pair of shoes because they suit her very well, so I need to get the same thing. Sometimes we have more, way more than enough, way more than what we need in our wardrobe, but yet we still bring more. Because I think that sometimes we feel that uh, being beautiful or being a woman, you should have a wardrobe full of different shoes, different clothes, different jeans, you know. So that's what really makes you feel happy. Trust me, guys, it is good for you to always look good. But my point is, if you don't find or discover your personal style, what really fits you, what really look good on you, what makes you feel happy, those dress that you just put on and you just feel you just be at peace with yourself because you just feel pretty from the inside to the outside if you don't it's not that i think it's going to be very difficult for you to dress up and feel very good because you just go for what suits other people at the end of the day when you put it on it's never the same like what you saw there it's never the same like what she's putting on but the outfit is the same but on you it's giving something very very different always go for trend it's new clothes that excite you you don't take care of what you have. Trust me guys, there is no way you're going to stop shopping when you've not worked on these things that I've just mentioned. So you shouldn't find it difficult to dress up because you have a wardrobe full of clothes. Because trust me, it's not all about how much clothes you have in your wardrobe. That's going to make your life very easy for you to be able to like dress up so fast. But the truth is, when you don't really have your own personal style, you don't really know what to work for you, you are going to find it very difficult to, for you to be able to like put an outfit together and feel good in it. All about other people's style, what is strange, what people are rocking, that is how you do shop. You shop because of what you see out there, what people are wearing, how good it looks on them. So that is why sometimes when you want to dress up, you find it very difficult to like dress up because maybe they don't really suit you so well. Maybe the colors are not kind of your kind of color at the end of the day it's just gonna be a problem for you to like dress up so yeah it's not all about the quantity of clothes that you have it's just for you getting to know what works for you it makes a huge difference another thing that i want to talk about is that trust me when you appreciate what you have 
appreciate and love appreciate and love what you have obviously you, you genuinely love them not because they are trendy not because you saw your friend rocking them that's why you went for them if this item are your kind of style what you really need love then you're going to take care of them because what you love will give you your time you take care of so we should learn to appreciate what we have and we should not be carried away by the trend or be carried away by what we see out there what people are rocking it might look good on them but for you no you might you know rock the same thing look good on you but at the end of it all you get tired of it so easily because it is not your style you just kind of copy what people are rocking at the end of the day you get tired easily you find your wardrobe full of clothes but yet you find it so hard for it to be like put up it together and feel good it's all about you it's all about what you want it's all about getting to shop what fits your day-to-day -day life what fits your body type what looks good on you what really makes you feel pretty in that way you're going to shop less you're going to care for this clothes a little bit more these are some of the reasons that i think most times you wake up in the morning you want to dress up for work or you want to go to maybe some kind of event but you find it so difficult like what we are wearing the clothes are there but you're asking yourself what we, what should i wear that is because sometimes you have so much and at the end of the day you have nothing because they are not your star so guys thank you so very much for watching if you watched to the end and you enjoyed videos like this please consider subscribing if you have already thank you so very much for always coming back i so much appreciate you all for your endless support on this channel see you all in my next one thank you Bye.